Hello, I'm Dr. Greg Fors, a board-certified chiropractic neurologist, certified in applied herbal sciences and acupuncture. And trained through the Autism Research Institute, I'm a registered Defeat Autism Now doctor and clinic director of the Pain and Brain Healing Center in Blaine, Minnesota. I'm also author of the very best-selling book, Why We Hurt and How We Heal. And it is a very good treatise on how you can come to treat yourself chronic muscle pain and fatigue. And as an international lecturer and doctor, uh, I, lectures to the public, I get asked many questions. One of the big questions is, why is there so much chronic muscle pain? How can I get rid of this chronic muscle pain and what are trigger points? More than 90% of all chronic pain problems arise from dysfunction of the muscles and joints, not pathology. This muscle and joint dysfunction arises from physical and nutritional changes in your muscle cells, in your joint tissues that must both be addressed for real healing and last recovery, lasting recovery to take place. The primary pain causing changes in muscle tissues are known as myofascial trigger points, but many people refer to them as muscle knots. These pain causing muscle knots obstruct good muscle, uh, blood flow in the muscle cells and create a lack of adequate oxygen and nutrition. This will cause the muscle cells to run low in energy. These myofascial trigger points are made up of dysfunctional muscle cells and sensitize free nerve endings that create a painful nerve reflex back into the brain. Therefore, trigger points are hyper-irritable irritable tissues in muscles that create three things to happen. First, the tissue becomes locally tender and can refer pain to other areas of your body. In other words, you can have trigger points, say, in the back of your neck, which will refer pain up into your head or trigger points in your shoulder that refer pain down your arm. And these need to be removed for the pain to go away. Second, these trigger points will cause your myofascial tissues to shorten, leading to feelings of stiffness. And third, they can cause muscle weakness. So imagine if you have trigger points throughout your shoulder, you're gonna have shortened, weakened tissue, which will then lead to more and more difficulty, say rotator cuff syndrome, which will eventually lead to impingement syndrome, which will eventually lead to surgery, which you don't want. So you want to remove the trigger points and rehabilitate the muscle. These muscle uh, knots causing pain, stiffness, and weakness in your muscles can create alterations then in the patterns of movements, causing even more stress to muscles, tendons, and ligaments, leading to degenerative changes in your joints. This is a lot of times where degenerative osteoarthritis comes from, a lack of proper motion and movement through the joint, uh, improper load bearing, which all comes back to this dysfunctional muscle unit called a trigger point. So this leads to this whole recurrent back pain, neck pain, or shoulder hip pain. The pain, ache, and stiffness will continue until you remove these hidden and active trigger points. How can you remove these trigger points? Because it actually takes more energy to relax a contracted muscle than it does to contract it, it's very important to restore good metabolism in the muscle. And this way, my trigger points can, you know, with, without you doing this, they become a self-sustaining vicious cycle because they don't have enough energy from the contracted tissue, enough blood flow, to go through proper release. To accomplish this, you need to apply sustained digital pressure to these knotted up trigger points to change the definite underlying state of disorder. This is called trigger point therapy or pressure massage or myofascial release. Research has shown that sustained deep pressure on the muscle knot will change the tissue and allow the tissue to be stretched and release the muscle knot. This is called, again, trigger point therapy or myofascial release. By creating these physical changes through this pressure therapy, uh, utilizing sustained pressure, you increase blood flow to the muscle tissue. This brings in needed oxygen and nutrients to the muscle cells. The muscle tissue can then produce more energy, or ATP, allowing it to relax properly. You can see how this, uh, just rubbing the surface of your tissues with a lotion or a vibrator massage doesn't adequately get at the deep trigger points. As an effective as trigger point therapy is, to be truly effective, it takes repeated treatments over time, with stretching in the myofascial tissue after each treatment. So how can you do this? There are many ways that are pointed out in my book, Why We Hurt. There are uh, different products that can be utilized to, to self-treat, or you can call our clinic and we can start you on a program of self-care to help you remove these trigger points and improve metabolism. Thank you.